Hello and welcome everyone to the round of eight finale here in the NASCAR Napa Cup Series playoffs from Pocono. Today we will find out which three drivers will join Matt Kenseth in the championship for this season. Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott, two drivers who could very well make it into the playoffs here today. Same for Joey Logano, who has been the favorite and the points leader for most of the season. Jimmy Johnson's in his final Napa Cup season. Can he make it? Kyle Busch starts on pole. Has always been, well, in recent years, has been very good here at Pocono. Look out for him in the first time we've been here in the Napa Cup series. Denny Hamlin is always fast. Can he win today's race although he is not in the playoffs i do not believe kevin harvick another driver who surprisingly missed out on the playoffs for the second season in a row he just wants his first win in the series as we get ready now to roll off here's a look at the starting lineup it's going to be kyle bush starting alongside brag keselowski on row number one row two is kevin harvick starting alongside ryan blaney aka minor Niner 69, or Minecraft Miner 69. Denny Hamlin starts alongside Chase Elliott, aka Big Trust 24. Matt Benedetto starts alongside Martin Truex Jr. Bubba Wallace starts alongside Tyler Reddick. And in row six, it's William Byron and Jimmy Johnson, both trying to make it into the championship four. Same for Joey Logano, starting alongside Austin Dillon. Matt Kenseth, last week's winner, starts in 15th alongside Alex Bowman in row number eight. In row 9, it's Eric Jones and Clint Boyer in his final season. And rounding out today's field, it's going to be Eric Amarola in the 10, starting in 19th. It's 9 laps. It's the elimination race for the championship four, and Kyle Busch is still racing after the crash at Dover. As now we get ready for the green flag. Here we go, fanning out down the front straightaway like they always do here at Pocono. Nearly 5 wide, and they all get back into line as they head through turn number one. Brad Keselowski, though, with the race lead. Trying to hang on over Kyle Busch, who is going to be fast. He started up on front, but has already lost the spot. Keselowski extends the gap a bit here as they close in on the end of lap one on board with Kyle Busch on the bumper cam. And Ryan Blaney gets loose as Busch is going for the lead on Keselowski. Lap number two, and Kyle Busch takes the lead. How about Chase Elliott up in the second? Two favorites for this championship, and oh, man, Bowman, hard into the inside wall. Caution comes out. What happened? Man, he marked the wall pretty well there from that hit. And in a moment here, we'll get a replay of what happened to him. Kind of hard to tell what happened, maybe off the bumper of Reddick or Boyer. But choose rule in effect. Bush chose the bottom. Elliott chose the top side. We'll have an, an on screen graphic here to see who's restarting where. Bush and Elliott, row one. Harvick, Kozlowski, Byron, Hamlin, Di Benedetto, and Blaney in the top eight. Ninth through 16th, Bubba Wallace, Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, Matt Kenseth, Austin Dillon, Clint Boyer, and so on. As we now get ready to restart this race on lap four. Coming up here, back up through the gears they go, and we are back racing. Harvick jukes out Kyle Busch there, and someone in the back just hit the inside wall. I couldn't see who it was. I think it was Logano or Wallace, but Chase Elliott takes the lead away. Here comes Kyle Busch, though, with the side draft on the inside as they head into turn number two, and oh, contact is made, and Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch crash. Chase went for a spin. He's going to be able to continue on, but Kyle Busch hard into the wall. He's smoking. Here's a look at the replay. Yeah, that was Chase's fault there. He just cut him off. Left him zero room as they entered the corner. And Chase is going to continue on there, but that was Chase's fault right there is the choose rule. Both Byron and Harvick up in the high line, but Bubba Wallace is going to take over the race lead. Joey Logano. After starting 13th, lines up in third, trying to make the championship four. Same for Bubba Wallace. They're the two points leaders, I'm pretty sure, as they enter this race, I think. 
Four laps to go, though, on this restart. Bubba Wallace and William Byron, two drivers trying to make the championship four on the front row. Wallace going to have that inside line, which has been strong, but it doesn't get a good restart. William Byron takes the lead. Joey Logano going for second position on Bubba Wallace as the field heads through turns one and two. Logano files back in the line. You saw Chase Elliott there trying to work his way up. He needs points. He's outside the cutoff line right now. William Byron, Joey Logano, the top two, Bubba Wallace in third. As of now, Wallace is in. Joey Logano now takes the lead on the inside of William Byron. You can see William Byron there on board with him. Sorry about the camera. Chase Elliott working. He's past Jimmy Johnson in the 48. Johnson is also above the cutoff line currently as Joey Logano leads this race. Logano trying to hang on as we head to two to go. Bubba Wallace now takes over second. And behind them, a huge battle starting to break out. But we look at Joey Logano and what he sees. He sees absolutely nothing but clear road ahead of him. That's what you want to see at all times if possible. Especially in a situation like him. Headed into three and four. Or just turn three. And wow, look at this big battle as we get the white flag and a huge crash. Caution going to come out. That's going to be the race. See a look at a replay. That replay came up a bit quick, but someone turned someone into Keselowski. Um, I think Reddick was trying not to cut off Harvick. Byron cut off Reddick. Reddick spun Byron, who, who went down into Harvick, who spun him. And Joey Logano wins the race. Keselowski is okay after the hard hit. Both Reddick and Byron went on. Here's the unofficial results. Byron. Got a time penalty for cutting the corner, so he ends up finishing behind Harvick, Blaney, DeBen and DiBenedetto. Chase Elliott moves up to 8th in the order, but I do not think that's going to be enough. It will not be enough. Kenseth made it, and now Almarola finished at the back. He's going to be eliminated, and Keselowski, Bush, and Bowman... The DNFs with Bush missing out. The championship four right there on your screen. Joey Logano, Matt Kenseth getting on wins. And Bubba Wallace and Jimmy Johnson have pointed their way in. I don't know. Pointed is that the right word to use? I don't know. But still they're in. The final four, which will be held. The track is still to be decided. But anyways, thank you all for watching one last race here in season two of the NASCAR Napa Cup Series. Have a nice night or day, whatever time of day it is, and goodbye.